Sports are a religion. And I don't mean that metaphorically. Back in ancient Greece, one of the big religious festivals was called the Olympics. It was a celebration of human beauty and power, and it gave glory to the gods of Olympus. Also, the ancient Aztecs and Olmecs had their own religious sport. Historians dispute whether or not it was the losers or the winners who got sacrificed to their gods. But it's pretty plain that across cultures, sports have been part of how we worship, even if you look today at modern America. I mean, we have animal-headed mascots that look a lot like the gods of ancient Egypt. We stand and we sing for the seventh inning stretch, and we uh, stand and sing for the national anthem. And if you don't think sports are a religion, then just try remaining seated or talking to your neighbor during the national anthem and see what kind of reaction you get from people around you. Anthropologists have a hard time defining religion because it's so diverse. There's so many different expressions of religion. Some religions have ancient texts, some don't, some believe in gods, some don't. So it's really hard to give just one definition for what religion really means. But most anthropologists and sociologists come to a definition of religion something like this. It's a collection of beliefs and rituals which we pass on to succeeding generations. The most ancient archaeological site in the world was only uncovered in the last decade. It's nearly 12,000 years old, older than the oldest cities that we've discovered. Apparently people were coming together to worship long before they had even invented farming, which has really kind of thrown what we understood about history on its ear. Most of the time we assumed that people started farming and they were able to produce more food to feed more people and that religion kind of developed as civilization got more complex. But it seems that civilization got more complex as people developed religion.